Holy shit. This is really fucking happening. Hey everybody. It's me again. Um, and this shit is really happening. I'm picking a much more tranquil surrounding as you see. Because I don't choose to be where I am right now, which is very, very cold. And it's in western New York. And my grandfather is in the other room dying right now. And I'm holding his hand. And I'm squeezing it. And I'm telling him that it's going to be okay. And that there's going to be no pain. And everything's going to be fine. But until... Somebody concretely comes back from the spirit world and lets us know that. How do we really know that we're giving these people the right information and not just pulling smoke up their ass to make ourselves feel better or them feel better? And is there anything really even wrong with that? With just trying to make someone feel better in their last hours of need? Um, I'm a true believer in psychics. And my point in saying that is that I don't yet know of any who have come back or contacted us to let us know exactly what that dying experience is like. So I ponder these questions. It's like, who is there to police what happens at our departures from this plane? I'm not. I'm sure you're not. And it really breaks my heart because this man helped take care of me when nobody else would. He and his wife, Marion, very, very special people. She passed on a couple of years ago. And now this man is laying in this bed helpless. And he did so much good for so many people and I love him so much and I just want him to know that you know I want to believe that he can hear me I want to believe that they say that hearing is the last thing to go I want to believe that but how does it all work it starts with people like you and I asking questions and pondering them and starting meaningful conversations like I hope we can below. So comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. What do you really think happens when we pass away? And this is just to say, Grandpa, I love you so much. More than I ever thought I could love. Another guy from Appleton, New York, who took care of me when I had nightmares and fed and clothed me and housed me and goodbye grandpa unfortunately this i guess is technically to be continued